technology tutorial on how to send a card from your iPhone, iPad, or iTouch. When you log into your app, you'll see at the top it says photo cards, or there's other categories that you can scroll down and choose from one of those as well. And each time you pick a category, you also can go into a filter at the top right and click on filter and choose from those subcategories as well. Now I'm going to go back into where it says photo cards and select from there and you'll see that you can pick a vertical or horizontal and then you can also choose at the bottom whether you want a two panel, a three panel, a big card or even a postcard. So I'm going to leave it as a two panel and hit create card on the top. Now where it says your photo here, you can click on that and choose from one of three options. You can either choose from your photo library in your phone, you can take a photo on the spot, or you can choose from your send out card pictures. So I'm going to click on photo library and as you'll see it'll take you right into your camera roll. And let's just choose any picture here and it's going to put that picture onto your card. You can zoom in if you want to or you can move it, adjust it in the frame that you want. And at the bottom you'll see the little three dots where you can navigate now to the inside of your card. This is the inside top and you can leave that blank if you want or write something or add a picture there and you can go ahead and swipe to the inside bottom. Now again it's text only as a default but if you would like to add photos to any of the panels simply click on the template option at the top and you'll see where you can do one big picture or four pictures, two pictures, some picture and text or you can choose text only. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this as text only now you can type your message if you'd like to or you can use my favorite feature which is the one that allows you to use the microphone to speak your message so I can click on my microphone and say it was so great to see you the other day exclamation point I really value your friendship period can't wait to get together again soon exclamation point thanks again for a wonderful lunch period love comma new line Jewels. And now I'm going to hold my finger down on it and choose Select All. And this is going to allow me to change the font and the size and the color. So first I'm going to click on the F for font and choose whatever font I would like for this card. I can then click on the sizing option and I can just drag it bigger or smaller. I can also choose the alignment that I want at the bottom, left justified, centered, or right justified and I can also click on this color bucket right here and not only can I choose from any of the colors on the margins but I can move my finger around as you see it's just automatically uh, intuitively changing the color so it's a pretty cool feature so I'm gonna get it whatever color I want it and then just hit done at the top and it's gonna plop it right into the card so now I can go ahead and hit add to cart at the top or you can click on the preview button if you want to and it's going to preview not only the front of the card but if you click on that top left it'll show you what the whole inside of that card looks like. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and add that to my cart and now from here I can either check out or I can add a gift right into my card. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add a gift and you'll see that we have all the different categories. If you click on all gifts, we've got brownies and cookies and truffles and all different kinds of gifts. You can click on the filter again at the top to choose from any one of our amazing categories and even search for a gift in the search box. So I could type popcorn or whatever I want to search for in that box and it's going to allow me to search for that item. So I can go ahead and add a gift to this easily by choosing the quantity that I want and simply hitting add to cart. And now I have my card and my gift and I can simply check out. Now it's going to pop up with my return address automatically and I can hit continue. And for my recipient, it gives me a couple different options. I can either choose from my contacts and that's going to go into my contacts in send out cards or I can click on new recipient and this is going to allow me to add somebody new on the spot or import somebody from my phone. So this is a great option if you already have addresses in your iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to contacts and then simply select the name and hit done and continue checkout. So now it's going to pop up with the date that I would like to choose and I can leave it as immediate or I can even set things for a future date if I choose and I can hit continue checkout and then I can simply hit submit payment and then as you can see my order will be processed and this card will get printed stuff stamped and mailed along with these brownies to my recipient so that's how easy it is to send a card and a gift right from your iPhone so be sure to look for the photographs that you have in your phone and send it to someone to make somebody's day mm -hmm.